Hello everyone and welcome back to World of Mike. Today it's a blast from the past. It is the Disney Dolls House issue number eight and we're going to be doing a pink piano one <laughs> which is one of um, Elvis's favourite colour. If you ever knew Elvis the King of Rock he would have had a pink guitar. But as you can see here with this issue we're going to be building the pink piano for the aristocrats um music room as you can see here and obviously basically putting this all together like so and then we'll have more pages of stuff to do as you can see here it's absolutely jam packed and uh and then at the end of it we'll have something that looks like that i don't know why they've included this part because this has nothing to do with this issue um that's to do with the previous issue and then we've got music of the aristocrats there Alice in Wonderland 1951 by, by Lewis Carroll. And then obviously each character has their own room in the Disney house. Coming up next time, we will be working on Mickey Mouse's room with some few wallpaper and uh, wall and some other bits and bobs. So this is the pack here that we've got here today, as you can see. So this looks like the pack that we're gonna be working on. So as you can see, it's all in there, lovely music notes and all bits and pieces like so. So what's gonna happen is, I think we need to take this out first of all. I know it's been a while, uh, I haven't been able, I just haven't had the time. As I said, this is a very time consuming build. So um, I haven't had the time to do anything further. So let's take all this out to the boat. And uh, it's basically all plastic from what I can see. So yeah, I don't know whether we'll be doing this bit in this issue, but we can see in a different time whether we'll use that or not. I don't know. We've got a few little, bit. oh, how cute is that? The music notes. And then obviously this is absolutely jam packed with loads of bits and bobs, as you can see here. So first things first, what it wants us to do, I'm just gonna turn that fan off. Um, first thing first, what he wants us to do is basically we have got um, this little piano, if you like. So this is the black keys, and then obviously on here you've got the white keys. Now what's going to happen is we're going to slide this into, or actually we're going to put these over the top here. So I'm assuming that they go something like that. I think this may be a uh, push fit connection. So maybe. I think that goes around the other way actually. Yeah, there we go. So that's a push fit, I think. It's not indicating to you. It is not necessary to glue the pieces. Yeah, there we go. So that fits uh, into there really, really lovely. And then the next part, what we need to do is obviously we've got this little section. Let's have a look here. So it looks as if got that frame we've also got this little frame is the one we're going to be using so as you can see what we're going to do is to install this um, the back of it where this line here is right at the back here because you want the key uh, details facing forwards what's going to happen is that's going to slide into here like so so you're going to slide that into there like that now obviously it says to make sure to slide it in fully so that the keys uh, contact with uh, with the back apparently so that just sort of clips in I mean it's very loose but um, as I said it's not saying anything to use glue um, so maybe we glue that I might glue that in later down the line um, but as you can see we're then going to get the front panel as you can see which is this part here and what's going to happen is we've got three pegs on one, two, and three, and that's gonna slot into the three pegs that are near enough round here. So we're basically gonna slot, dry fit it, just to give you an idea, that's gonna slot into there like so. Now it says to use all purpose glue, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my, um, I'm gonna use my Gorilla Glue. I'm not gonna use wood glue, um, so I'm gonna use my Gorilla Glue here. We can get this off. I haven't got no uh, cocktail stick, so I'm gonna to have to brush it on, but yeah, okay. So at the moment, these keys seem to slide. I don't know if we glue them in or what, but 
Just gonna glue that on over there, just give it a lovely touch with glue. And then what we can do with that is we can slot that into there like so. We'll hold that down for a couple of minutes and uh, let that set. I don't know why this is not glued in, but we'll give that a couple of minutes. We might have to give it a few more bits to push uh, to let that seal. Yeah, that's not gonna do it. Okay, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to put a little bit more reinforcement on here. So what I'm gonna do, is I'm just gonna give it a bit of a peg there, a bit of a peg there, a bit of a peg there, but I'm gonna also put some along here as well, just to really give it a bit of a stick, if you like. And then that will go into there like that. We'll hold that down for a couple of minutes. While that sets, this is the bit, is the uh, time it takes to set it, if you like. Um, so that's that, I've just noticed something. So on the back of here, we're supposed to have a panel, which they've already put on the back for us. Um, don't know how we're gonna get that out, but um, obviously it says here on the back, We'll leave it in because they've installed it for us, but basically you push the back into there uh, like so. But it, as I said, they seem to have done it for us, so we don't need to do that. Um, so that's that section there. And then, obviously, what's going to happen next is we're going to put a side wall on, which is obviously one of these sections. So this is, must be the top, and then these two here are the sides. And what's gonna happen is you can see that we've got one, two, three, four holes here. You've got a lovely slot there for this part here to slot into. And then it's basically gonna jam up like that. So while this bit is getting a bit more glue on it, we'll get plenty of uh, glue onto here. Still got quite a lot left, so I'm very pleased with that. Um, and what we will do is just, I'm gonna put some down into the crevice as well. We'll put some into the crevice right the way along and put that into there just gives it a little bit more reinforcement if you like and then we'll just give it a little bit more splodge um, of glue that's what i love about this glue is the brush allows you to do so many wonderful things with it um, so it's really quite lovely to work with i've not put any on this slot here because i think we've got enough on the stand here so I'm gonna hold that together for a couple of minutes. What I will say is obviously this will be aired before seven, six, five, four, and three. That is because them issues are quite lengthy and issue eight is quite an easy one. So obviously I'm gonna make an exception with this build and I'm gonna do, um, if I think an easy issue is, you know, if we've got the next issue and it's easy, I'll do the easy ones first. Obviously I like to go in numerical order, but, um, it's not always possible to do that, but yeah, so we'll do the piano first. So that's that part there. And then we can just do the other end um, on that side. This is obviously a slot fitment that slots in and out like that. So I'm gonna take that off for the minute, but basically what we'll do now is just do the other edge, which is this side here. And we'll just brush that. Along there, a little bit 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 along there, and into the crevice. Just give it, putting it into the crevice just gives it a little bit more reinforcement. And it doesn't matter if it starts to, you know, leak in there because I'm going to put some in there as well because obviously this part won't be seen. So we'll put that part onto here as well. Very nicely done. You've got yourself a little handle there as well, and then that slots into there like so and then as we're doing it we can hold that there for a couple of minutes holding that there so that is a lovely lovely issue next on that we're going to be putting on the two feet um which are basically going to go under here into these little sections here so while that side's gloom we can work on that it's just a case of rotating each side and we're going to be basically putting it so that this little slot fits into the slot that's down there. You can see like a little slot. Um, it's not indicating glue, but I think for me, I'm gonna glue this on. Um, 
with me, if they say don't slot it in, I'm still going to slot it. I mean, if they say don't glue it in, I'm still going to glue it in because at the end of the day, um, at the end of the day, I'm not going to be sitting there playing around with it. You know, at the it's a model for me and yeah, I want everything secured, you know. What I also will do is glue the keyboard down as well. I don't like the way it slots out and in, so I'm going to be doing that as well. What I've noticed here is what they've got here is they've got like a little ramp. So what happens is, is this part here, it slides. It basically goes along like a little track and it slides and pushes onto it. So as you can see, it slides onto that. So again, we'll do that exactly the same over this side. And we will put a little bit of a... Not a lot, but just a speck. I'm not going to put any on the track um, because we could end up with leakage and we don't want any excess glue spoiling all our paintwork there. So obviously you could put a bit on the top part here if you wanted to, but as long as it don't move, that's the main thing. So that is the piano so far. Next, what we're going to do is put the top on now. So as you can see, we've got one, two and three holes here. And we're going to do exactly the same with that. And we're going to be putting that into this part here. Now, it says, obviously, you can push it in that I'm going to glue mine in. Um, so obviously, with, with your models, it's up to you what you do with yours. But with mine, I'm making sure that any pushing parts goes in perfect and stays there. I'm also going to put a little bit onto here as well and a little bit onto there as well. By gluing, obviously, you don't have to put it on these parts, you know, in the middle here where I'm doing now. But it just gives it that bit more reinforcement. Okay, and then that one goes into there like so. And we can hold that there for a couple of minutes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. And that's that part into there, all done. It's a nice little cute, isn't it? It's very, um, uh, it's quite heavy now as well, which is quite nice. So after that, the next part, what we're going to do, we're going to leave that to glue for a minute because we need to put some pedals in next. So obviously these are on this lovely sprue and I'm going to get some side cutters there and we're going to... I'm going to cut that about there, cut that about there, and cut that about there. And then what we can do after that is just go back over, get the blade right up to the back as much as we can. I'm not going to sandpaper any of. You know, just get a bit of the burr off. Yeah, so obviously right up to about there. And then obviously this section here as well. Because obviously we're going to be using, you see that like little nodule bit? That's all I'm focusing there, I do apologise. But basically they're going to slot into this little hole here. So for this one, because obviously that's quite a tight fit, I'm going to just put a little blodge, um, not all the way, but just literally on the back here, just the tiniest amount of glue on there. And if it comes out, I can always go back over it and put some more in. But as you can see, that slots into there like that. And we can put a little bit more glue. I should have bought this brush on glue a long time ago. It's brilliant to work with. It allows you to put uh, the right amount of glue on rather than get squeeze bottles and then squeeze it on um, it just allows you to get a lot more on there oh nearly went <laughs> so we'll get just that part on there and then that can slot in there to be fair with you you don't really need glue it's such a firm fit in there but for me as i know we all know with push fits they can you know come off every now and then so throughout this you will see me gluing them down a lot but that is the little uh, piano there and um that's basically it that's us done and dusted so obviously i'm just going to put the gorilla glue back together because we don't want to 
dry that up. But yeah, that is the piano all done and dusted. That was a lovely issue. I've just realized I wanted to, I'm gonna put that down because I wanna paint that down. So I'll just paint that down. So we glue that down. Um, I don't understand why they've made it as a, you know, a pull out section, but I'm gonna put a little bit just on there, as you can see. And then I'll put a little bit just on here as well because otherwise that's going to be slipping and sliding all over the place and I don't want none of that. <laughs> so if we just put that in there, I think. Oh, look at that. So good. It's lifting up at the end there, but I think that's because I didn't glue white at the end. But as long as it's stuck on there, that's the main thing there. But yeah, look at that. That way it stops it sliding all over the place. I have just noticed something else as well. Um... We haven't, I don't know if we, it's not told us to put this little sticker thing on yet. So I don't know where we stick that. Yeah, I can't see anywhere in here that it says to glue that down. The score of the arrows. I mean, they say to put it on there. So maybe what I will do for this. I mean, I don't know if that's, is that paper or it feels like paper. I can't see that being a sticker, but we can have a go and see. If, ah, is that a sticker or paper? It's hard to say really if it's. That looks like paper. Okay, so that's paper. So what I'm gonna do for this is, it doesn't say to, you know, put glue on there, but I think for me, I'm gonna put a little bit of glue on that and put that on there. I mean, the magazine is not saying to do that, but as I said, um, each modeler does their own different thing. So for me, yeah, I'm gonna do that. So I'll put a little bit of glue just on the back of here. Don't want too much, but just enough for that to stick. And then what I can do is I can put that there. That oh, whoops, that there. Get stuck here. Come on, come on, come on. Yeah, baby. Look at that. So yeah. A little bit did get crumpled up there, but I didn't. I wasn't sure whether it was a sticker or not, because sometimes it can be a sticker or it's paper. But yeah, I'm happy with that. As I said, the magazine doesn't say to glue it on there or anything, but I'm I'm happy. So that was been a lovely, lovely issue that one. Um, and as you can see, that's what it's looking like. Really, really groovy. Now, as I said, it's up to you if you want to glue that down. I've glued mine down because I don't like the fact that it's sliding in and out. Um, and obviously if you just it's probably best to glue that on because if you just pop that on there It's going to fly off everywhere and it's so small you could probably lose it So my advice to you would be I mean obviously it's up to you It's your own build you do it how you wish but if that was me I would glue that on how I've done it there and then you've got that not falling off So that's it there you could put like a little vase on there if they give you a little vase So that's the average two cracks this part here um, they're provided with this issue, but we don't actually do this in this issue. I have done this issue previously because I do two of these builds because uh, one's been turned into a very famous Disney film house uh, with caster wheels and all that. Um, this re this is a table. Now we don't do that in this issue, so I, I don't know whether that's coming up because the next issue, I can't remember what issue it came in, but the next issue is Obviously, Mickey Mouse's room, a toy, a teddy bear, and the ball, uh, the wall, and the the paper. As I said, this is uh, with the news agents now. Uh, we are waiting for it to come in, so it gives me a bit of time to catch up with the back uh, the backlog on this. I've still got two, three to six, but um, obviously, you keep these parts in a safe place because we will be needing them at a later stage. And yeah, um, all I will say is, uh, you know. If you like what you see, get this lovely build. It seems like we're working on all different rooms at the moment, but yeah, uh, we've got some exciting parts coming up as well with, you know, the base and the foundations of Mickey Mouse's room, but that is a lovely, lovely issue. I hope you like that video as much as I did enjoy uh, assembling this lovely issue. It's so different to do, 
you know, a doll's house rather than a build. Although it is building and constructing, it's something it's something completely different that we've not done before. That's Disney Dolls House brought to you by Harshet Parkworks. If you want to subscribe to it, head over to the website or get it through your news agents. Tap the bell notification if you want to be notified of all the videos I do. Uh, like, share, subscribe, all the usual stuff you do. And I'll see you next time for more of the Disney Dolls House. As I said, I am trying to get this on a schedule. Um, but this is probably going to be as and when because it does take time with glue and that. But anyway, have a lovely evening, guys. See you next time. Bye-bye.